Hello and welcome back once again to Viking Whiskey. Uh, today I'm tasting uh, another one from Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. This is a 17 year old Glen Lossie. Will be interesting. Um, and uh, this one was uh, bottled at uh, cast strength of 58.7% um, and was called Velvet Complexity. So, promising name. Let's see. Details on the screen. Okay, there we are. Very nice color. Mm -hmm. Let's have a whiff. Nose is not bad. It's quite nice. Alcohol is, is manageable. Um, and then immediately you get some sweeter notes, some tough, uh, some sweeter notes, some toffee notes. I have your your, your standard uh, sherry notes, uh, dried fruits. Um, and you those those hints of leather, um, spices, a little bit of tobacco. It's the tiniest smoky notes. Um, it's very sweet in the nose. Um, also have your just just that slight varnish, but but it's 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 very very slight in this one. A very little bit of ripe strawberries as well. Maybe that sort of. Strawberry sweetness is really what's on top there. Um, anyway, quite pleasant nose. Um, all right, let's have a taste of it. Obviously, the alcohol is stronger in the mouth. To start off with that very warm alcohol punch, um, which is sort of overshadowing the rest of what's going on. But immediately after that warmth, you get the peppery spices. There is that sweetness, but it's not, it's not overwhelming here in the mouth. It's a lot more black pepper than sweetness right here. Some oak, but again, just in to say hello. Hmm. Not bad at all. Getting some fruity notes now. I, ex I expect I'll get more in the second chew. Pepper is still going strong, but um, but those fruitier notes are definitely coming more through here. Very dark, dark berries. Might go with some some plum, some black currant. Mm. Still a nice layer of sweetness, but just right there. Nothing overwhelming. Later on, you start to develop some of those more sherry notes here in the in the taste. It's um, it's getting a little a little bit leathery. Just that hint of 
tobacco, not too much smoke in the in the in the mouth as I, I, I did detect a bit in the nose there. Um, it's one of these where I, where I constantly have this feeling, you know, just in ten seconds it's going to go bitter on me, but um, so far it hasn't. I see. Here around the gums I have some, some charred wood. It's becoming very clear, sort of dominant. Um, or some totally burned out figs. Um, yeah. Again, maybe the fig jam sweetness as well. Hmm. I will say that that black pepper, fresh cracked black peppercorn, is is just really strong throughout. Um, it's not bad. It it, it is quite enjoyable. Um, mm. All right, on the finish. This is still the picture uh, that I'm left with. Peppery, first of all. Then, a little sweet, very little bit of oak, um, and just sort of slowly fade out. But really slowly, I mean, it's, it's really staying peppery warm for a long time here. Um, and that bitter, bitterness still hasn't shown up, which is good really makes for an, an enjoyable finish. Mm. This is uh, surprisingly good. So to rate it, the nose. It's a very nice nose. This is an 86. Taste. <clears throat> This is one of these, I think I'm gonna go all the way. Also 86, and on the finish as well, 86. Just to make my math skills <laughs> show off a little better today. Average, hmm? what do you say, 86. <laughs> all right, great, very nice one. I can recommend this one for sure. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you'll check in again next time. Cheers.